Oh, I'm a bit upset at the moment, dear. What's the matter? Well, nobody ever cares when they they hurt, they hurt me. They 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 use me. They use me to to deal with their injuries, and and they they hurt me in the process, and and just they never think about about the damage done to me. I'm sorry that you have to deal with that. I mean. Do they not look after you at all? Well, they, you know, they look after my basic needs, but they, you know, they, 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 you know, they hurt me to heal themselves. It's, it's, it's it feels, it's, it's quite a lonely life, being an aloe vera plant. No, no, we've got a new sponsor. What's our new sponsor? Our new sponsor is Quit Electric Toothbrushes. <gasps> Oh goodness, electric toothbrushes, tell me more about them. Are you tired of moving your arm up and down when you're brushing your teeth? That's so much unnecessary effort. I'm going to bed. I don't want to do exercise. Why not have electricity do it for you? Exactly. Why do the basic amount of arm movement when electricity can just buzz around, do all them jobs? That's brilliant. Yeah. So how does it work? Well... You, you, uh, if you order through us with our product code, which is uh, QPS53, you can get your first battery for your electric toothbrush for half price. Now, these batteries for these electric toothbrushes, they're proprietary, they're very expensive, but can you really put a price on not having to move your arm anymore when you, you do your toothbrush in? Uh, well, I, I don't think you can. I think you can, and I think it's 50% off if you use the code QPS53. That's a good point. I, I think that is like, exactly the price. That is the price. I quite like the way that it sort of straps right to your arm and just sort of jiggles it up and down for you. Yeah. You just hold onto it, and then it just... just the, the straps, they can be a bit heavy, but like it goes right up to your shoulder. Yeah. It's like, almost like a, an, an exosuit at that point, just, just brushing your, your arm. Indeed. Sometimes your arm gets a bit tired and you do have to disconnect the battery, but quit electric toothbrushes. Head over to quitelectric.com and get 50% off your first proprietary battery. <laughs> Inside the boardroom of Electronic Actisoft. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, yeah, what's what's going on? So, so I called this meeting because uh, I think I've had I think I've had a brand new idea for how we can uh, make our video games even more profitable than they already are. Awesome. What what do you got? So, so you know how how traditionally video games come out and there's a release date. It's yeah, you know maybe yeah. February fifteenth. That's when we can always have. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. We start doing a bunch of ways that people can pay us. To play the game early. Yeah. So, like, if you're a part of our uh, paid subscription service, have the whole game a week early for free. Uh, you know, if you pre-order it, you can get the first 10 hours of it a week early for free. Sure. If you, uh, you know, all these sort of things that you're going to give us extra money, you know, uh, a lot of these require you to do it in advance. So, like, mm -hmm. you're you're putting money down before the reviews happen. So, like, yeah. not only are you paying us extra money, but, like, you don't get to find out that the game is bad before you pay for it. I mean, we 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 just can't have that anyway. Exactly, exactly. And, like, the genius part of this is we're not actually giving them the game early. We're giving people who don't pre-order the game and don't pay for the subscription, we're giving it to them a, a week late. Like, what we're doing is that date that we give it to for people early, that's when we were going to release the game anyway. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, we sell it like it's, hey, you're getting something better for the subscription, but really, you're paying a subscription to not have us just hold the game for a week and not let you have it. I mean, yeah, I think that's that's perfect, because obviously it, it gives us more time flogging the devs. And, uh, yeah, I think this is great. It'll also be great if we can put this maybe in with some of our uh, our gold packages for the, for the pre-orders. Yeah. Uh, but not all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. you got to make it confusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when we release the game, if it's full of bugs and, you know, all sorts of game-breaking problems, we we can we have a week of the excuse of just, it's not really out, though. This is just the early release. You know, it'll be fixed by next week. Yeah. And, you know, that gives us a week to look at which of the things that they actually care about. Like, which ones is it going to actually hurt our bottom line not to fix? And, like, we don't have to fix any of the ones that they don't care about during that week. So, like, you know, we, we have a week to work out. Do we actually have to fix these problems? Or, sure, you know, can we just, like, save the money and not do it? Yeah, I mean, and the other thing is it's it's free playtesting for us, too. So, exactly. You know. Like, if, if we can just, like, 
tweak it based on player feedback during that week. Absolutely. You are a fucking genius. I know. Okay, yeah, if you just uh, talk into the camera here, we'll, we'll give you your own little box code and they'll just respond to that and hopefully you'll get some good responses. Okay, okay. Hello, I'm Veltari. I'm a tiefling. I am a character from a D&D universe and I'm looking for love. Uh, I have big old, big old demonic horns. I play electric guitar. Um, I have a big old manticore friend who who stands behind me and makes me look very cool while I do it. And I used to be a murderous evil person, but like I'm good now. I'm friends with a with a troll called Wolf. It's all great. Um, I'm a I'm just your friendly bard looking looking for friendship and maybe cute demon girls. And can, what can you tell us about the sort of person that you're looking for? They would ideally look cool and demonic and just be able to stand next to me and go, yeah, that's that's a cool, that's a cool demonic looking couple. I am Grog, yes. <laughs> looking for shiny, shiny, yes. <laughs> Many good shiny, yes, yes. Um, Grog, me, uh, I'm handsome fellow, as you can see. <laughs> Have whole treasure hoards! No, I'm not treasure hoards! No, no one knows about the treasure hoard! Hmm. I don't want people to just want me for my hoard, you know? Uh, can we cut that bit out? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, so, yes, looking for a uh, nice princess, maybe. Ransom back to daddy! <laughs> oh, prince, not mine! <laughs> and go. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Frank. I am a wizard who uses trading cards to uh, to cast my spells. I'm very good at them trading trading cards, and uh, I, I'm I'm just looking for a, for a nice man to settle down with. Uh, I've had I've got kids, don't live with them, but I'm a I'm a family man, and uh, you know I, I I like I like trading cards and magical battles, and definitely not electrocuting people to death with my electric spells. No. Definitely didn't do that one. Also, I think I might be in charge of a country. It my my story went some places. <laughs> All right, um, Ellie, I have been known to uh, get in trouble now and again. I'm not one who particularly values things like money and stuff. I uh, I have a, a, a rainbow battle links. Don't worry about him. He's very soft and fluffy on you, Mr. Fluffy Bottom. Yeah, and uh, we go on all sorts of missions. I like to think of myself as some sort of anarcho-communist. Occasionally blow things up if they happen to be owned by a rich person. Ideally, what I'm looking for is somebody into shenanigans and really deep pan in sex of any gender or, or you know, age above consent. <laughs> I'm Leonora Melbeck. I'm a space hippo lady. I like getting drunk. I am a pansexual polyamorous. I, I, I'm just all about finding love wherever it may be, no matter what your species or race or class. I am very, very into finding, oh, 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 blah, blah. oh no, I screwed up, I screwed up my sentence there. Give me a second, I'm just gonna re-roll. Oh, there we go, 21 Charisma, that's better. So yes, I'm just looking to add more smoochable cuties to my map of smoochable cuties across Diamond's face. Wonderful. Definitely fix that botched Charisma roll. <laughs> so, it's nearly little Tamara's birthday. Yeah, yeah. So, Mummy's going to be wrapping some presents, right? Yeah, and we don't want to make that easy, no. No, no. Because no. where's the fun in it being easy? We only get to come out when it's a special occasion. Give it five minutes, we're back in the cupboards. Exactly. If we can just screw things up a little bit, we get to have more time out actually, you know, seeing the house. Absolutely, absolutely. So hopefully we've got a plan. I, Tape, will be taking the lead. Every time I'm put down, I am going to wrap up as tight as possible and make that end as smooth and flat against me as possible. She she will be just rolling a fingernail around and around me and she won't be able to get a good purchase. Scissors, what have you got? Well, I'm going to be just shuffling across the table and hiding behind, like, a book that's over there or under that envelope. Just not going far enough away that something seems suspicious, but far enough away that it's going to take a good few seconds to find me. Like she's just put you down somewhere and you've already gone. Exactly. Now, what are you gonna do, Paper? Well, 
I was hoping, because I've been wrapped up just uh, just down the side of the cupboard for a little while now, I thought what perhaps I could do is just, every time she rolls me out, I'll just roll back up very, very quickly. And then when she, if she lay, lays something on top of me to hold me down, I'll curl right up at the corner. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. I reckon we've got a good chance of being out, what, good 30, 40 minutes this year? OK, uh, hands in then. Go team. team! Hello and welcome to another episode of Lifestyles of the Millionaires. I'm here with Tamara Nope, who you may know from working with some of the biggest artists around the world. Tamara, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing very well. Um, life is very good. Um, getting to work with all these fantastic people has enriched my life in innumerable ways. Absolutely. Now, you've recently worked with some very big musical artists doing some, some album art for that. Tell me uh, tell me how you met. Ah, uh, well, we met because they went on Twitter and they said, hey, anyone want to do free art for our next album? You'll get to be on the cover. Like, we won't pay you, but you'll you'll get to be able to tell people you were you did the cover for our album. And I put about, I don't know, three months of work, uh, full-time work, into producing this cover, and I got selected. That's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I understand you recently worked with one of the big directors in Hollywood and made some uh, some amazing artwork for, uh, for, the, for the movie posters there. Oh, goodness, yeah. So, uh, once again, I, you know, I, I contacted them saying, like, look, I'd love to, to get my work involved with yours, and here's what I can do, here's some things I've mocked up, and without even emailing back, they just used the things I sent them. And I, you know, I, I I was just very excited to be involved. That's amazing, that's amazing. So, um, I imagine that this has really paid you very well. This has got you, you know, really going up in the world. Well, if you paid in exposure, a lot of people have seen my work. They have no clue it was my work, but they've seen it. I can... If I'm making friends with someone, I have a fun story to tell and to tell them I did a thing. If someone bothers to look inside the cover art of that album, they'll see my name very smallly written on page 14. Right, so you're not famous at all then? Well, it depends how you define it. Like, you've you've seen things I've done. Is that not fame? Right, but you're you're poor as hell though, right? Oh, yeah, no, God, no, no one pays me in anything but exposure. Right, I suppose that would explain why your four housemates had to let us in and go out for the day so that we could get all of our recording equipment in here. Indeed, I can barely afford this quarter of a room. Well, it's it's been lovely meeting you, and thanks for coming on. Obviously, we're, we're not paying you for your appearance here, but uh, it's all good exposure, right? Ah! Oh, yeah. 